Welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we're with Brian Grindstaff. I'm Richie Ware. Glad that you've joined us. Now, one of the things that uh, I do is I walk around in boiler rooms and see what products may be of interest for uh, folks out there and maybe learn a little bit. One of the things is the Honeywell mod motor that uh, seems to be the more popular thing in the boiler industry. So I thought I'd talk to Brian a little bit about the Honeywell mod motor and, and actually what it does. So Brian, why don't you take us through what the, what the mod motor actually does? Sure. Uh, Honeywell's a brand, you know, they make all sorts of different types of motors, mod motors. Um, you can use these things for almost anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Right here we've got, uh, you know, a standard mod motor that you would, you would see in a boiler room. You may see three or four of them. Uh, in one boiler room with one boiler, you know, okay. they, they do anything from operate linkages uh, for, for burners and gas valves and mm -hmm. oil valves to like our setup here with our uh, mod V valve, um, feed water valves, uh, I've seen them on gas valves. Mm -hmm. um, uh, really, you know, anything that needs to be able to actuate, um, you can use these motors on. Now is there <clears throat> one particular uh, particular way that this motor works? Meaning, does it just come on and drive, or is it actually there's some programming and in, in it? Or kind of tell me how they actually yeah, work. Yeah, Honeywell's a brand. They do a really good job of being able to do almost anything with them. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got some that are just purely on off. Okay. They've got some that that will modulate up and down mm -hmm. uh, based on a control signal that you supply to it with a, a 4 to 20 milliamp or a 0 to 10 volt or a 0 to 135 ohm in the boiler industry. You see that a lot with your low water cutoffs. Um, you know, from proportional to stop, you know, it's, you can really do, uh, they've got a motor almost for every application. <clears throat> Walk me through <laughs> how this would work on a linkage system. Um, how would how would a mod motor work on that? Yeah, uh, so you would basically uh, you've got a motor here. It's got a double end shaft. Basically, when you power to it, or it has a control signal, it will start to turn. Mm -hmm. um, usually, they'll have like a crank arm on here with the linkage right. attached to it. So you would have a rod that would attach to a valve or a cam of some sort. Uh -huh. And as it starts to drive, it's moving that linkage and it's driving a cam or driving a valve open mm -hmm. or to a different position. So pretty critical in the combustion process, obviously, yep. on, a, on a burner system, if you will, right? Yep. Um, yep. And then how maybe on a uh, feed water, how, what's it actually doing on a, on, on a feed water? Yeah, so this is our Mod F valve on a DA tank, and this is a full port valve being driven by a standard uh, 4 to 20 milliamp setup mm -hmm. uh, with the Honeywell mod motor. And basically what it does is you've got a level transmitter that's sensing the level in here and providing a four to 20 milliamp signal to this valve to say, hey, we need more makeup water and it'll drive the valve open and fill the tank as, as it's needed and kind of modulate that as, it, as it's needed. Okay, um, as far as sizing um, mm -hmm. a, a mod motor, I mean, is it one size fits all? I mean, how does this work? There's so many different deviations of these mod motors mm -hmm. and you know, you really got to look at the application, what it's turning, what it's driving, how much torque is required, uh, what's, your, what's your voltage requirement, what, mm -hmm. what, what kind of signal are you driving it off of. Um, they've got these motors from fail open to fail close, uh, so many different voltages from 24 volt to 120s, typical. Um, in industrial applications, they basically, not one motor fits all, it's, it's you really got to figure out what the application is for the motor and make sure you select the right motor for it. And I've used pretty much standard on the Honeywell for um, the wear mod V, if I'm correct. Yeah, it, the, the two motors that we use on the Mod Vs are ones that you're probably going to see in any type of uh, supply house. Okay. You know, if there's, if there's a catastrophic failure, you're not tied in to trying to get a motor from across the country or long lead time motors. You can go straight to your local supply house and say, hey, you know, this is what I need. Mm -hmm. um, you don't have to buy it from BoilerWarehouse.com if you if you don't want to, even though we right. got we got great pricing on that stuff. Yeah. But um, you're not going to be down waiting for a motor. Right. So we we tried to tried to make it that way on purpose. So you know we deal in an emergency business and we don't want to have to wait on things. Sure. Sure. So. All right. Well, appreciate uh, talking a little bit about the Honeywell. I know that you see it in the boiler room when you're walking around. Um, it, it's probably one of the more familiar things that you actually see, but mm -hmm. thought we'd just talk a little bit more, get a little more in depth with it. 
You can see a lot of this at our BoilerUniversity.com. I know that uh, Jude and Jeff go through all of that. If you have any questions, you can obviously call Brian, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Brian stopping by and talking with us about the Honeywell Mod Motor. Now, if you want more information, you can click right here. That's BoilerWarehouse.com. You can find out all kinds of information about the Mod Motor. But also, as I said, in Boiler University, you could actually click as well right here and see all of the scheduled classes and learn a lot more about that Honeywell Mod Motor. Well, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, maybe subscribe to the YouTube channel or share a video. Be blessed, and we'll see you next time on the boiling point.